Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We hope all is well. Welcome back to another fight prediction. We got a matchup here between Bantamweight's Ricky Tosios and Amin Zahabi. Now, Amin is the brother of Faraz Zahabi, correct? Yes, absolutely. So he's associated with TriStar. Now, in the UFC, uh, two and two so far, he's on a one fight winning streak. He did clean up. Uh, Draco Rodriguez. I ain't gonna lie to you though. But he, the crazy part is, he was losing before that, and then he just kind of won out of nowhere. So it was just like, hey, if you watch that fight, and it's, it's interesting, man, because like right before he knocked him out, that same right hand he threw it like a minute earlier, but he just missed. It was like, man, but I don't, I don't know if he can replicate that again, man. Yeah, and then if I'm looking at the loss, man, Vince McMahon had a bad loss. And then the the whole spinning back elbow thing, well, Ricardo done got, what, like two or three of them at, yeah. at this point. I think it's five of them total, and he got two or three of them in the whole UFC. So it's like, I mean, that hasn't aged poorly. On the other end, we got Ricky Tosios, you know, uh, one Ultimate Fighter season 29. Split decision over Brady uh, high stand. I'm not going to lie. I looked at the fight. I didn't think he won. So, to be honest, and that's in the back of my mind. Now he is a good fighter; like he got some things going for him. Pretty much, this dude, like man, I don't know. He's he's well rounded; like he's good everywhere. Just, but he's just not great anywhere. Yeah. And it, but the only I thing, think, but I he's got he, good. He got great cardio, and, and that makes up for like his cardio, his heart. But the fight got to go on a, to a certain length of time before you can really start to see the difference between uh, my cardio is way better than yours and. Now it don't matter how much better you are than me. You're exhausted, and now I can take the fight from you. I seen a couple. I seen a couple of fights with him and with Ricky, where he threw about forty punches and landed like one or two. And I know, and that's another thing. It's like I'm seeing a lot of he's punches not, being thrown. He's not precise. Man. I'm not seeing a lot of punches being landed, and it's like I I want to like the guy. I want to I want to jump on board and and see it. I like the hard work. I like everything I'm seeing outside of the cage. The family. He from Houston. You know, great city, obviously. I like all that. But him as a fighter, I just don't see certain things, man, like, to be honest. Not right now. Uh, maybe this fight he'll show, some, show something, but... But he's but he's fighting against Aiden, man. And that, and this might be the fight to show something. I think he will because Aiden, man. Like, I think it's Aiden. Aiden, he, he's not the most, like... He don't really throw that many punches. He throws one punch. He kind of sit back and, and wait on the right opportunity. Yeah. And also, Ricky, if you notice, he don't really get hit a lot too, man. I can't see Amy. I, I, like, I won't Amen. be surprised. Yeah, I won't be surprised if he don't land anything. Who, Amy? Yeah. yeah. Because he don't really throw. He don't throw in high volume. Like, he seemed to be fighting a little bit more cautious, and he wait and try to throw that punch. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's 2-2 two two in the UFC, but that first win came in 2017. So, it's like, that don't how much yeah. is how relevant is that? But the thing is... If we just go off the recent body of work, but the Draco loss, that was Draco uh, third loss in a row. So it's like that ain't even it's like, is that the most impressive thing to be the guy's third loss in a row when he already done lost two prior to you? And uh Another thing is No, no, no. Actually, no, that was the first one. Oh, that's my fault, y'all. That was actually the first of his three fight losers streak that actually set him off. So that actually that didn't age bad. Yeah, right. That didn't that didn't that didn't age bad for Amen Zahabi. Hey, but, one thing I noticed with Amen is he doesn't really check leg kicks at all. Like, and I feel like that's Ricky. That's an easy way, like an easy route to victory. To just a decision. Leg kicks, man. Just make it. But I'm. I just want to see. I want to see more cleanliness from Ricky. All the wild <laughs> stuff. Okay, the Ultimate Fighter is over. No, nah, the wild know. stuff is over. Pick your shots. Be, use your cardio. Sit down on your punches. Start putting people away. The fighters do it they, when they're striking not the best. Yeah. They try to compensate. Volume they try volume. to compensate with volume and cardio. Ryan Battle do, does the same thing. But but they're winners, but it's like yeah. at some point you're gonna run into people who they gonna sit down on their punches and it you can throw fifty punches, they're gonna hit you once and that's gonna be game over. I, I just need him to start sitting on his punches. Uh how do you see this fight playing out, honestly? It's tough, man, because A man, he, he has one knockout loss. That was a spinning back, but man, that, that was so it was like that was rare, but um Dang it. I think Ricky is going to outpoint him. I don't like that wild punches and stuff, man, which I still don't think A-Man is going to land the right hand. 
Cause even though Ricky, Ricky don't really get a hit a lot, like with punches, like crazy. His his uh, striking defense is pretty good. I don't think it be too much grappling. Hey, what's the grappling stats for Amy? Let me see that. Cause I mean, but I'm gonna be real. I thought Brady out grappled Ricky in the finale, and I thought I thought uh, Brady was up 2-0 going to the third round. They still get it. For, so I mean, I know he got dropped in the third round, but I mean, I still thought at the very least he lost that round. I think that was still a 10-9 round. So he should still just lost 20. I mean, he should he, he should have won 29-28. So I don't know, man. The volume and the cardio seem to be a real good weapon for what's the grappling looking like? Ricky don't really have the best takedown defense. His takedown defense is 45%, which you don't have to worry about that with A-man. Anyway, uh, pretty much he has more takedowns. He goes for more takedowns, which... And uh, and a man has seventy two percent takedown defense. I don't think this fight laid the ground. I don't think. I, I don't think it really matters, man. I think it's gonna be unless Ricky there. get him super exhausted and just start taking him down just to seal the deal. And like, hey, and, and just pour it on him and just put it on. And look him. who a man trained with, bro. Like, I wouldn't even want to take him down to the ground. To be honest, man, it's just Ricky. I think his striking is a little bit better. And they made this fight for a reason. They ain't never just made. Who do think, who do think they gonna give it to? Who do you think? Like, bro, they ain't never just let nobody win the ultimate fight and turn around and get in a fight. They gonna that's lose. True. So let, I, true, I, I'm gonna have to go with Ricky just. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ricky by decision. I think he's yeah, he's not yeah. gonna get hurt or nothing. He's gonna make it look easy. Yeah.